Hi, and welcome to our fourth monsoon day, the best day of the trip. We started with a drive to Saguaro National Park because we had read Gila monsters frequent that area. Wow. It is so green. It's weird with all the green grass this from the rain. This is where I want my house, just like right here. Normally that grass is this. like yellow, you know? I love those squiggly plants. Yeah, they're those super are so cool. fun. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, they're popular for people to put in their yards. Oh, yeah. Visitor Center. Okay, we're at the Visitor Center. So now we're going to go ask about Gila monsters. Because other than the scenery, that's the reason we came down here, is that we really, really want to see a Gila monster. Desert style. I love taffies. And? And, yeah. Prickly pear taffy. I want to see one of these. I think it's a collard peppery. You can like ask him. Havelina? You can ask him. Yeah. What does it say on the tag? Oh, yeah, it's a javelina. Javelina. Yeah, javelina. I've seen them from a distance. I haven't seen one up close yet. I think I saw one in Texas once. I love that. I love that. You, you might have seen like the wild boars in Texas. No, it was different than was a it wild smaller? Too, yeah. Because the yeah, javelinas like, aren't very I've big. I've seen the wild boars, yeah. It was yeah. So many wow, look at that. Look at these. Isn't that cute? Oh! Look, 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 with the quail. That is so cute, I love these. Oh my gosh. Oh, how fun. I love puzzles. I always buy the Ravens burger, but that one looks really fun. I think I have space to bring home a big puzzle. I love that, it's so cute, the little quail. My mom would love that. Oh, I never thought I'd like so many things that I can shop. It's closed, that trail. So, so where did they say? The east side um, is where they've been seeing the Gila monster by the visitor center. Water I want to you. Yeah, it's delicious. What kind Thanks, of happy? Did I say prickly pear? Yeah, prickly pear. I wasn't yeah. recording when you said Oh. <laughs> Prickly pear, yeah, it's so good. Prickly pear, out in the desert. Saguaro was beautiful, but we found out that there had been several sightings of a Gila by the east entrance. So we figured we had nothing to lose and would just drive over there to check it out. Well, right before we got there, my dad, who had been working on his laptop most of the drive, looked up and suddenly yelled for me to turn around. He could barely get out the words he was so excited, but he had spotted a land spout. Before we left for Arizona, seeing a land spout was not something that had even crossed my mind. We couldn't believe that just by chance we saw this and from a great view too. Land spouts are technically considered tornadoes and it did get reported by the SPC as a tornado. According to the National Weather Service, Arizona only gets an average of three to four a year. Dave posted his video on Twitter, and now he's basically famous. Gusnado, wow. well, look at that. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Well, there's something for you. Look 
gosh, that was a good spot. How did you see that? It's hard to see on the camera, but I'm pointing that direction. Yeah, that is perfect. Jeez, look at that thing. How tall do you think that is? It goes clear to the clouds, doesn't it? Yeah. Never seen one of those before. That is so cool. I hope I'm catching it on the camera. <laughs> I can't really see it. Did it die out? I see it up Very top. Wow. It looks like it's visible to the light. Yeah, or, or it's not getting hit by light. I can still see it up in the cloud little funnel up there. We found a place to pull over and continue watching the storm. We also did a little tarantula hunting before we headed to the other entrance of the park to look for the Gila. But I'm watching that one little area there. And this is kind of some little turbulence over here. I mean, what would be, really be wild is if we got something right out in front. Yeah. There's a little cool. tower going up here, so. I don't know. Is that lemon? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Get a, get a stick. Get a stick. Get a stick. Get a stick. I'm like, let me get a bigger stick. Here, right there. Ah! Oh my gosh. Try him out. Try him out. I think he might he pull oh, back oh, in. Oh, shit. Dave, the fisher. Oh my gosh, it goes back there. Come on. Attack the stick. It goes way back there. I'm thinking he's like a paranoid spider now. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what to do. Damn, we had him right there. He's right at the hole. He's right at the hole. Okay. Yeah, let me do this. Sprinkle it on top. Where is he on the camera? What if we see his legs poke through? Well, he, something's got to jostle him to come out. But... Yeah, maybe do a little more. Is this what you're looking at right here? This little guy? Uh, am I good or what? Look at that. I think that's an Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. There. That's nice. Yeah. How do you tell? You just tell by the height. 35. 35. Right, right there is the updraft tower. And you got this, this moisture speeding up into it. So that's that, that lower area right there. Wow. Yeah. So that's like a 40,000 foot tower. Where tornadoes are happening right in front of the updraft tower. So you so got this little hole right here. Yep. And the tornado in the plains, if this was, first of all, it'd be much larger right. than this. And you'd have <laughs> an area. Much lower. And, yeah, much lower. And you'd have an area out in front of it with something similar going on, but that'd practically be hitting the ground. Oh, yeah. And uh, you'd see a lot more activity. But the structure is the same. Okay. You've got an updraft pulling air in. And then from a distance, it looks like one of, like these guys, or a bit more like that guy. More like well, that from guy. a distance, that's just that's or more just like this one. Uh, yeah, so you can see the area where it's tallest. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Updraft tower is more on the back end of him. You see, yeah. that's that'd be the back of the storm right there. So you get your tower going vertically. Okay. So if you were to stand under that, you'd probably see a little a little, a little clearing, kind of like that. Clearing like that. Facing it, probably be a little bigger over there. Okay. Interesting. We feel like this maybe could be a Gila cove. We don't know. They said that there's been Gila sightings around the east side visitor center. So we drove all the way here. It's a really nice view. How cool would it be to see light? Yeah, that'd be great. And the temp dropped to like 80 degrees. So it's perfect temperature. Yeah.
on chase now. Now we're on chase mode. Wow, Dad. Okay, first of all, you chased me like 200 times this year, and then and I've chased two different times in April and June, yep. and now we're chasing again. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so this fun. Is the most Oh, what a beautiful yeah. view from here, jeez. It's like they must have flashed flooding or something. Whoa, got that one. We turned our attention to the lightning and found a quiet neighborhood to capture some great shots. So we have this beautiful sunset. And we have these beautiful clouds, which are very hot pink. I'm really hoping I see a great bolt right here. Whoa, that was weird. Do you hear that bird? <laughs> Beautiful mountain over here. I love this view it's so pretty right here. Ooh, I got a little squiggle in there. Yeah, it's nice. Look at that. Very high base shelf cloud. <laughs> oh, I just took holes. Oh, a moth. No, the, oh wow, the spray's not gonna help a moth. What are those little birds like? They're like, what, 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 are those quails or something? What are they? It's really cute the way they make those noises. That was what Do you think it'll for. go again? Shit. I wasn't even looking yeah, up. That was the shot right there. Maybe we'll get another strike. Hold no, on. none of us got it. Look how nice that cloud is when it comes down to this. We just missed a huge, beautiful bolt. Just out here looking for lightning on this amazing day. Everybody's filming. Whoa, that dog. No, that dog's like, whoa! Doing some behind the scenes for remote roaming for. <gasps> Did you get it? Okay, where? Oh shit, that bat is scaring me. No, because if they touch you and they're rabid, you, then you can never touch you. They stay away from you. You never know, because sometimes you don't even know they've touched you because they're so small. Yeah, yeah but, but mine was probably looks like a ball of white no again. <gasps> It's raining, or something peed on me. I've felt a couple little bit. Okay. Bro, oh, I got that bolt. Oh, nice. Okay, Alyssa, I know we can't see you because this is epic sunset behind you, but is this how storm chasing is every day? This is a special day. We saw two tarantula, a land spout, and some great CG lightning. It's amazing. I think yeah. this is how storm chasing is every day. Well. What do you say, Keith? Every day. Every day. <laughs> I'm right. See. <laughs>
Storm chasing is fun. Subscribe and like. <laughs> of course, we ended our night with some snake hunting. We even saw a scorpion cross the road. I'm really, am I too close? I he can only so. strike half of his body length, and I'm know, I'm three so. feet away. Look at that. Beautiful. That is really cute. Really Here, let me turn cute. this bright. Well, no, if I do, it'll. Let me turn my oh, flash on. Really cute. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Go, cute. little guy. Go, little guy. Nice. You guys, we're having a great day. This is a great day. All we need now is a big lightning bolt. Look at this guy. He seems harmless. I know. He's he'll bite. Seems, he'll bite me just as hard as a big one. I'm I'm about two feet away, so I think I'm safe. Look at his little tiny rattler. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. It's such a baby little rattler. I can't hold it steady. Ah. Oh, he's alive. Oh yeah, Look baby at him. Western Diamondback like number two. That. He's a little yep, chunkier. This is our second is one. Yeah. Guy, get off the road, dude. We need to we need to move him off the road. Wow, oh, why? Is, are you sure he's not like run over? He looks very flat. Should I get a stick? You can get him to go. <gasps> oh shit, Dad, come on. He won't strike him. He's plenty far away. No, Dad, come on, don't do only... that. Dad, don't. I'm serious. Stop. I don't trust these babies. They don't know what they're doing. No, it's true, but he was like three feet away. Or foot and a half, at least. I don't like the way he's coiled up looking at us. Okay, that is crazy. We just saw a big west. That is a freaking huge scorpion. Oh my God. We just saw a big um, western diamondback. And he ended up being dead. And then as we're about to drive on, we see this huge scorpion crossing the road. That is big so fun. Berry. Uh, he probably won't sing. Yeah. It takes a lot for him to sing yet. Yeah. Look at his little pinchers are up. Wow. Oh, he's this a big one. Dang. So big. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know. He's big. Yeah, I, he, I think he'd be moving. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, that was a snake. Yep. This is how we find snakes. Oh, yeah. He's, is he alive? That's a stick. <laughs> oh no, it was a stick. <laughs> uh, it this. looked just like a snake. Stunk. He's not a diamond. <gasps> oh, is he a gopher? Yep. He's a, he's a gopher snake. Oh, nice. cool. He was booking it. Okay, so book And it. I think, okay, moss, get off Should me. Off the road? And yeah, I thought he was, uh, so he's definitely not poisonous, right? He's not poisonous. Look oh, at him. Isn't that cute? Go. How oh, cute. Yeah. Look at him. Wow, we saw a different breed. And we're helping him cross the road. Can I touch him? Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Look at how cute. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he made it right. safely to the grass. All right. We saved a snake, you guys. Look at him. I mean, he was already going there He's anyways, just a baby but... Going <laughs> On the next episode, we end our chase trip with a visit to an air museum and check out the lush area near the Mexico border. See you next time.